I see stuff like that it reminds me of why I don't do the show that often I gotta be honest with you I can only take so much anyway test one two one two episode 31 we're back yeah since the last time I talked to you guys I think I upset half of India Yeah, apparently you're not allowed to make fun of their moon landing. Very first pictures are emerging from India's rover. This was a moon landing? Looks more like gameplay footage from Blast Corps on Nintendo 64 to me. We we were hovering and now we are approaching the moon surface. Hold on a second. Is this a moon landing or a demo of the new Galaga? Yeah, they didn't like me goofing on their animated tracking of the landing for some reason. It is the world's first to land on the moon's south pole. This is a fact. Oh, is it? Hey, look, here's me going to the moon. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, this is actual footage. I'm sure you don't have any questions about this either, right? You got to see some of these reactions. This guy writes, effing stay with American memes. Stop playing with this. This guy was so mad he responded to himself. Unfollowing you, you motherfucker. I love it. I love the people who get off at me poking fun at America, but the moment I poke fun of their culture or their country, all of a sudden it's a problem now. (laughs) They're unfollowing me. This show is Joey B versus the world. You're aware of the title, right? Look at all these. Shove it up your ass. (laughs) This one's my favorite. This guy tagged the news in it. He goes, please take some action against this honky. (laughs) Could you, could you imagine them reporting on that stupid video? The West is back to playing its old games, discrediting India's achievements and questioning India's motives. I don't think it helped any pointing out that their president looked like a ventriloquist dummy during the whole thing. <laughs> Here's one. F off. Unfollowing you at this instant. Could you imagine being told to F off by someone named Harsh Shit? Harsh shit. Dude, I I hope I'm reading that right. This is how we pronounce the name. Harsh shit. Harsh shit. (laughs) Good lord. If there ever was a reason to change your name legally, this would be it. Dude, sounds like you're named after a rough pregnancy. What else we got here? Joey, I used to think you were mature. Did, did you just start, sir, are you not aware of what I do? Did, did you just hear my response to that guy? I think you're holding me to a higher standard than you should. This one goes, be careful, man. You are inviting trouble. Yeah, well, look, we're prepared over here, okay? I already told my grandmother that if she gets any calls telling her that she's got a virus on her computer, not to give her credit card information to anybody. I appreciate the warning, but I'll be taking care of the phones, okay? Look, all jokes aside, I I got a survey. Are people aware that this is a comedy channel? Is that... I thought that was established already. I mean, Instagram and Facebook put a disclaimer over the video for fake information. What information did I give? I mean, do the people who run these platforms believe that I'm some sort of news organization? I mean, look at me. Do I look like a news organization? Does this look like a newsroom? But look, if you're one of those people who really expected me to look into this for you, to to really uncover the truth about this moon landing, well, you're in luck because... I went to India recently. India. I figured I'd get to the bottom of this debate once and for all. Luckily, I was able to bring back footage for you guys. This was authorized and cleared. I'd really like you guys to make up your own mind about this, okay? So without further ado, here's what I found during my trip to India. 
Hey guys, I'm in India right now. Uh, weather's not bad, a little warm. Uh, I'm sitting in my rental car right outside Mission Control in Bengaluru. Uh, as you know, they're currently on a mission to the sun now. I didn't know if you knew that. Uh, I think they're about two miles away. Yeah, so instead of jumping to conclusions on this one, I figured this would be a perfect time to see for myself. You know, and just clear up any questions I might have about their space exploration programs. All right, I'm going to go inside and see if I can get some answers now. All right, guys, I'm officially inside. They're fully aware of who I am. They know I'm here, and they've directed me towards their mission control room. This is it, folks. Okay, you're not going to believe this, but I've been given access to their main mission control panel. It seems pretty legit, guys. This is where it happens. Look at this stuff. Here it is. Here's the shuttle in action. As you can see, their spacecraft is currently under attack by aliens. Just a reminder, guys, it's very important here that we understand that this is an animated representation of what's happening up there. So if there's any doubt about the legitimacy of these missions, this should clear things right up for you because it sure has for me. All we can do now is hope they get out of this pickle here. Okay, Joey B signing off now from Bangalore. There it is. I hope this clears everything up now. Oh, and let me just say one thing, too. For all the scientists and all the people that worked on this space mission that you guys are so protective of, let me just say one thing, is that I would never get in the way of anybody's dreams. And neither would my friends over at Beam. See how I did that? No, but I got to tell you guys, do you know how miserable I am when I don't get any sleep? I feel like TikTokers are bouncing on my forehead all day. And I know there's a lot of people out there who are being kept up at night too. Whether it's stress from their job, family problems, moon landing jokes, whatever the case may be, Beam Dream is what you gotta look into. This is healthy hot cocoa for sleep. I'm gonna go through this with you. Dream contains a powerful all-natural blend of reishi, magnesium, L-theanine, apigenin, and melatonin to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. And today my listeners get a special discount on Beam's Dream Powder, their best-selling healthy hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. Now available in delicious flavors like cinnamon cocoa, chocolate peanut butter, and mint chip. Better sleep has never tasted better. If you want to try Beam's best-selling dream powder, get up to 40% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com slash joeyb and use code joeyb at checkout. That's shopbeam.com slash joeyb and use code joeyb for up to 40% off. What else is going on in the world? Oh, what is going on in Germany? Have you guys seen this one? Look at this. Apparently hundreds of people who identify as dogs gathered in Berlin to bark and moan at each other. There, there's a portrait of failed parenting for you. Somebody should paint that. Paint that whole scene. Yeah, yeah they should name it The Gathering of the Shameful. I kept seeing articles claiming that these people were gathering to fight for the rights of people who identify as dogs. Now, I don't know how true that is, but if these people truly are fighting for the right to identify as a dog, first of all, who's stopping you? And number two, I say we all get on board with it. Now, I'm not saying become one of these wackos. I'm saying if you want us to properly identify you as a dog well then you shouldn't have any problems with me bringing you to the pound i mean isn't that the right thing to do bring you in get your rabies shots and if this sounds harsh guys this is what you want right you want to be identified as a dog well then you got to turn in your driver's license because we can't have animals on the highway okay <laughs> living in one of the buildings near this you know you're cooking food for your family and out in the distance you, you hear this <laughs> you open the window you look out and there's a bunch of grown adults dressed as dogs howling at the moon i mean what else would it take to get you to move 
you're going to raise a kid in this environment? I mean, the world really is infected. It really is. I mean, this is not, this behavior is not exclusive to America, guys. I mean, you could put your finger on a map and there's some kind of derangement going on there. I mean, take Morocco, for instance, right? There was an earthquake recently. Morocco quake leaves half of village's population dead or missing, right? Horrible tragedy. Meanwhile, this woman decides that it's a good idea to uh, express her sympathy by sharing with us a photo of herself taking a photo of herself in the mirror with the caption, devastated for Morocco, such an intriguing place filled with wonderful people. A million prayers for them. Now, what does this photo have to do with anything she just said? Like, is she aware of how insulting that is to try to pass this photo off as some sort of tribute to the people who just suffered a tragedy? A photo of herself made up to the T. And just like everyone else who uses a tragedy as an opportunity to post a vanity photo of themselves... You could see her entire page is filled with only photos of herself. Just nonstop me, 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 me. I mean, that really is a worldwide sickness. And I love the ones who be like, well, I donated. I donated to the cause. Oh, you did? Well, you should. next time you should donate yourself to space. That's what you should do. That's where you belong. I hear India's going to Pluto next. Why don't you hop on the next ride out? <laughs> The world is so unbalanced right now. Doesn't it feel that way? Have you guys seen what's gracing the cover of Victoria's Secret lately? (laughs) They should really consider changing the name of this magazine to Victoria's Cholesterol Problem. I think that's a much better fit for the brand these days, don't you? (laughs) What else is wrong with the world? Oh, what about these parents who are breaking eggs over their kids' heads for TikTok likes now? Look at this. If you could see the expression of these kids' faces, you can see the trust being broken on their faces. That hurts. Are you okay? No. See, on YouTube, you, you can't show kids getting hurt. So I, I got to blur the faces out. Um, <laughs> look, I, I got to say something to the parents in these videos. If any of you dopes are watching this right now, Do you ever worry about the day your kid becomes strong enough to hold a cinder block over your head? Do you ever think about that? Like, what if they find out about this video and decided to get revenge on you? I mean, for all you know, you could be creating the next Chucky here. You stupid bitch, you filthy son! Did you f*** with me? You don't know. Filming yourself breaking eggs over your kid's head for the world to see... These aren't memories for them to look back on. These are court documents. These videos could be part of their testimony one day. I don't know, man. It seems like kids are more mature than their parents these days. If anyone needs toys taken away, it's the parents. I mean, if you watch these videos and picture the mom here as a little kid and the little kid as the mom, I mean, the mom is acting like the kid. I don't know. Anything goes today, I guess. All right, let, let me calm down here. I, I always get, I get worked up about this stuff. All right, we got to, this is why we got sponsors here. Right? I got to break, I got to break this up before I lose my mind. All right, let, let me shout out my, my, my guys over at Raycon. All right, fall is on its way. The leaves are changing, Halloween's coming, and it's Raycon's six-year anniversary. Yes, yeah, six years. I, I've been talking these guys up since I started this show. These are the most loyal pair of headphones I've ever had. They haven't let me down yet. They're great. 32-hour battery life. It's such a perfect in-ear fit, too. I used to have so many problems with earbuds falling out of my ear. These things stay in. 
Now, you know they got to do an anniversary sale. They're doing 20% off everything on the site with select products up to 40%. Celebrate Raycon turning six with their biggest sale of the year going on now. Get over to buyraycon.com slash joeybvs and use code birthday to get 20 to 40% off site-wide. That's code birthday at buyraycon.com slash joeybvs. VS to score 20 to 40% off. You know, one thing I, I never talk about that drives me nuts that I, I just got to, I mean, this is kind of like a, this is nothing new here, but I, I was just having a conversation with somebody the other day about this, this climate change stuff. I'm tired of hearing these people who parade around campaigning for the dangers of climate change after arriving to their speech by a private jet. We will all suffer the effects of climate change and ecosystem destruction, and we are facing what is quickly becoming the greatest moral crisis of our time. Let's have a look inside Harrison Ford's private jet. He was seen at the Santa Monica Airport in California, where he was seen ushering his friends and family into his $18 million private jet, which is just one of his many planes. Look, I'm not the first person to bring up this hypocrisy, but what's mind-blowing to me, mostly, is the fact that this has been addressed so many times, and they just keep doing it. It's like... Are you really about this or are you not? It's like someone parading around campaigning that we shouldn't be eating meat and then running into him at a Burger King. I, I just, I don't understand how that would validate anything that that person ever says beyond the topic at hand. I mean, if, if, if I saw somebody parading around like that and then finding them doing the opposite, I wouldn't listen to anything they ever have to say ever again. That would invalidate all their opinions about anything that they have. Bill Gates does it. Leonardo DiCaprio. I, I got to tell you, man, why I think this guy is one of the greatest actors of all time. He's one of my favorites. Why does it have to be him? What, why, why does he have to be that guy? I don't want it to be him. I don't want him to be like this. <laughs> Our planet cannot be saved unless we leave fossil fuels in the ground where they belong. Why can't it be a shitty actor? It makes you wonder if they really believe what they're saying here. You know, and a lot of people say, well, Joey, they need to get around. And this is the fastest mode of transportation, unfortunately, as it stands. But they do have to utilize this to spread their message. No, they don't. There's the Internet. They could do this from their boxers in their bedroom. If you're as big as somebody like Leonardo DiCaprio, it doesn't matter where. It's almost like you're wasting your time uh, flying places to stand in front of a podium. Just upload a video. You, what, you have billions of followers. You do this anywhere. You could do all your cutting the lawn. And as fast as technology advances, he'll always have the means to record himself and upload his speech to the internet. It doesn't matter how detached from the advancements of technology he gets. It doesn't matter how out of touch that he gets with it. It doesn't matter how old he gets because he'll always have a 20-year-old next to him to help him. Look, speaking of being out of touch with technology, I've been really enjoying being detached from technology, reading all the snail mail you guys have been sending me. Here's the address if you guys want to send me anything. I've said this before. There's so many talented people that watch this show. Uh, I've gotten a lot of vinyl from some of these great bands. I figured I'd showcase a few of these. These guys are out of South Wales, Australia. How about we let this be a cleanse from all the nonsense we watched today?
awesome. You know, it's really cool to be able to connect with you guys this way in a more personal way, read your guys' stories, see where you're from, all that good stuff. Um, unfortunately, I got to end the show on a somber but hopeful note. One of my absolute best friends growing up to this day from childhood is in the ICU on a breathing machine right now. He got blood poisoning. He had sepsis, I believe. And I wanted to put this out here for anybody that wanted to help. This is one of the funniest people I grew up with, one of the realest people I grew up with. The link will be below in the description on, on YouTube. If you're on Spotify, just go to the YouTube and the link will be there in the description. I can't stress this enough. And I've said this before. Call your mom. Call your dad. Call your friends. Time is short. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.